Hello everyone! Last week, we joined the Necrolords and secured ourselves a brand new Necropolis. Meldrexus, it's on the path to reclaiming its rightful role as defender of the Shadowlands. But the treasonous attack on Bastion, it remains a stain on our honor. The attack on the Temple of Courage has been routed before. We've even ventured into the necrotic wake, took care of business on the inside. But you can't keep a good construct down. We had nearly retaken our temple when your kind returned in force. I will not rest until this ends. Neither shall we. They've managed to summon in reinforcements and retake the grounds. Entrench themselves with shields powered by necromancy. Shields that we can take out with the aid of Zandria, Paragon of Courage. Their crystals get taken out, but we slay our enemy forces so thoroughly that none will ever attempt this desecration again. With the outside cleared, we then move deeper into the sanctum, where the foul necromancers have enveloped the area in a toxic cloud. The Curians can't fight back from the air as its foul powers corrode their very wings. It's gonna be up to us to deal with these befoulers so that Zandria can deliver retribution to the rest of them. But even with her might, the Paragon cannot eliminate an endless army. We'll also have to destroy their portals and stop the reinforcements. Vograin! The Ma will seem a fond memory when I am done with you. Antolite. She could never defeat me in the arena. She will not defeat us here. You rush headlong to your demise. I look forward to tearing you apart. Yet you cower in your necropolis. I will silence your boasting with a single strike! The sky's clear. Regroup with me on the western landing, Maldraxi. Retribution is at hand. Pathetic little weaklings! You cannot stop the House of Constructs! Oh on me, Maldraxi! Together we will cleanse this temple! Mark my targets, Maldraxi. I will smite them with haste. Let the reign of justice cleanse this ground! Sir? We have but one enemy left to slay. Speak to me when you are prepared. It is the way. Enough of your meddling! Face me, so that I might crush you once and for all! Coward! I will rip your carcass from my temple and cast it into oblivion! All of Bastion will be ours! You will never win! At last, the ever. darkness clears from my temple. Yet I feel it will not be absent long without action. The constructs are nothing if not persistent. But I swear to the light that we will purge them from Bastion. The Baroness for the House of Constructs has been slain, and victory is ours today. We've proven that honor yet remains within Meldrexus. But Margrave Garmal, it still stands, so the Kyrians are gonna take some time to regain their strength, while the Necrolords will need some time to prepare their forces. Yet gazing upon Bastion, this sense of honor and purpose that guides his denizens, it has Mograine wonder if the Arbiter made the right call. For the Archon and Ashbringer, the Arbiter's judgment is infallible. She must have recognized something within you that was meant for Maldraxxus. Yet I dedicated my life in service to the Light. Is that not what earns a place in Bastion? Walk with me, both of you. Our aspirants shed their memories in the Temple of Purity, but we will follow a different path. Does Maldraxxus not suit you? When I first looked upon the Maldraxxi, all I could see was the scourge that brought ruin to my homeland. The monsters I had sworn to destroy. In time, I learned that they are not the mindless undead I thought them to be. That honor has its place in Maldraxxus. Or at least it did. The memories of your life bear torment in death. 
Were you chosen for Bastion, they would be deemed a burden. But why was I not chosen? Was my faith in the light not strong enough? Was my soul tainted from the moment I rose into undeath? Light, void, such trifling powers have no purchase here. The Arbiter sent you to Maldraxxus for a reason. One we shall attempt to discern. Meditate on these scrolls, Alexandros. Glean the source of your courage. A reason we are not alike. The light has always been my courage. But I will see what these scrolls reveal. A much more detailed video is available on the channel, but real short for the story of Mograine. Alexandros wielded the legendary blade Ashbringer, earned the title of Ashbringer as well, by literally turning his scourge enemies into ash. Is that... Elena? My love? My light? She is still as radiant as when I last held her. To think she'd be forgotten if I... Forgive me. Let us continue onward. A threat that had to be eliminated. So schemes from behind the scenes turned his eldest son against him. He lured his father into a trap, then stabbed him in the back, giving him to the gentle care of Kelfuzad, who turned Alexandros into one of the four horsemen. Renault, my eldest, my demise. His betrayal haunts me, even in death. My son, would this pain be best forgotten? Please, let us move on. Then his youngest son Darian ventured into Naxxramas to save his father, ended his undead life and took the corrupted blade with him. From the blade, a voice whispered to him to take him to the Scarlet Monastery, where no got what was coming to him. Then Kelfuza planned an attack on Light's Hope Chapel. Darian, in a glorious act of self-sacrifice, used to corrupt the blade to kill himself. This act, it saved his father's soul, and the light responded, obliterating the scourge, but also now handing Darian to the enemy. He would return in Raw of the Lich King, then step away from Arthas the Lich King, handing over the Ashbringer to Tyrion Fordring, who managed to purge his corruption and shatter Frostmourne itself. Darian, you died to free me from the scourge. And still you stand in defense of Azeroth. I will never forget your sacrifice. Never. My beloved son, I am so proud of you. And nothing will ever take that from me. I believe I understand now. Let us return to the Paragon. It is the, the Arbiter saw that your memories are not a burden, but your source of strength. That is why you belong in Maldraxxus. I see that now. Honor may have forsaken Maldraxxus, but together we will restore what has been lost. Go on, Mawalker. I would like a moment to reflect. Giving up his memories would mean giving up his source of strength for Alexandros, which sheds an interesting light on those that are judged worthy for Bastion. The Arbiter's judgment was, as always, infallible. Since this week's campaign it revolves so much about Mograine, I also want to take a moment to answer a question that I've heard quite a lot. People are wondering how it's possible that Mograine wields the Ashbringer. Since in Legion, it was the Paladins who got the blade as Tyrion Fordring passed away. Did Mograine visit Azeroth and steal it from the Order Hall? That's not the case. We can talk to Bonesmith Hymir, who lets us know that the blade is actually called Fatebringer. I made it for him when he was named Baron. He wanted something similar to what he used in life. Based on your reaction, I'm guessing that you recognize the shape a bit. I guess if I shared a title with a sword, I'd be pretty attached to it. It's one of my finer creations. Alexandros fought hard to come by some of the materials that went into it. Not sure where the skull came from, but it's certainly not from Eldrax's. My headcanon is that Mograine did indeed travel to Azeroth and picked up the skull of Renault, the head of his treacherous son now used to bring honor back to Meldrax's. But that's purely my own take. 
all the same. We've proven our honor, and we gained a new ally. Bastion demands vengeance, and we shall share it with them. Only by combining our forces are we going to be able to defeat the Constructs once and for all. Your presence here is welcome, Paragon. We share a common enemy. Mograine speaks highly of your leadership and courage, Draka. I am honored to finally meet you. I see the Moor Walker is with you. I trust their choice to ally with you. And with that, we can ally too. The reign of Margrave Garmal ends this day. We shall gather our forces and prepare the Xerachris for an assault. The alliance is secure, and now we plan the attack. A story, an assault, that's gonna play out next week for the Necrolords. So, for now, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I'll leave you with another new Stay A well While Listen. And if you want, subscribe if you like my videos. Maybe even leave a like if you enjoyed this one. And until next time, see ya! Every defeat Baroness, is a lesson. Your original night elf form was restored in the afterlife, was it not? Why abandon it for one akin to the Naga? When I was Kaldorai, I was but a handmaiden to my queen. Prized for my beauty and little else. As a Naga, I was recognized and rewarded for my cunning and resolve. But I could ask the same question of you. Why adopt the form of a feeble human when so many stronger ones exist? This is the form I had when purging countless undead on Azeroth. But I suppose your point stands.